Bean Emoji Movie Break Game! The Emoji Movie Breakout. Hi, I'm Jailbreak. I'm an emoji. I'm pretty happy to be one, but I wasn't always. You see, my name wasn't always Jailbreak. It used to be Linda. Linda was a princess emoji in Textopolis. You might think being a princess is all fun and games, but it's not. Princesses have to look pretty and wear shiny crowns. I didn't like being told what to do. I wanted to look the way I wanted to look. One day, I showed up looking like this. Everyone freaked out. If you don't change back, I'll have you deleted, Smiler said. But I couldn't change back. I'm not a pretty princess. I wanted to live in a place where I could have an apartment, express myself, and get a cat. I wanted to live on the cloud. But when I tried to get there, the firewall kept me out. The firewall remembers your face, and it only lets you guess the password once. To get past the firewall, I needed to override its program. So I taught myself how to code. I became a computer programmer. Then I met Gene and High Five. Gene needed my help. He wanted me to reprogram him. Gene was supposed to be only a ma emoji, but he was also so much more. Can you do a smiley face? I asked. Gene smiled perfectly. Sleepy face? Gene looked sleepy. Shocked? Kooky? Show me the money. Gene could do them all. He wasn't like any other emoji. He was like magic. I needed a special tool to reprogram Gene, but that tool was in the cloud behind the firewall. Since Gene could make tons of different faces, we had lots of chances to guess the firewall password. Listen, I'm gonna help you, I told Gene, but it's not going to be easy. I was right. We had to run from antivirus bots that wanted to delete Gene. At one point, my beanie fell off. You're the princess, Jean said. Is it true that when a princess whistles, birds fly down from the skies and land on her shoulder? No, that's ridiculous, I told him. That's a complete and total myth. Together we explored the phone. We went through many apps, and even through the trash. Finally we made it to the firewall, but none of the passwords worked. You can do it, Jean, I said. Gene guessed one last time. Access granted. We made it to the cloud. I couldn't believe it. My dream came true. But Gene surprised me. Jailbreak, you're the coolest emoji I've ever met. And after all the adventures we've had, I'm not sure I want that all to go away. I could stay here with you forever, Gene said. I like being Gene's friend. But I needed to live in a place where I could express myself. I'm not looking for a prince, I told Jean. Jean was so sad that he didn't need to be reprogrammed anymore. He was naturally meh now. He walked off the cloud and into the clutches of a superbot. I had no other choice. I pulled off my beanie, puckered my lips, and whistled a happy tune. You see, I didn't tell the whole story to Jean. I'm not proud of it, but princesses can call for birds. I didn't want to do it, but I had to save my friend. Just as the superbot was about to delete Jean, I broke in and shut it down. Jean was saved, but the rest of the emojis were in trouble. The owner of the phone, Alex, was considering wiping his data. I'll take it from here, Gene said. It was a risky move, but Gene showed Alex just how important it is to express yourself. 
Everyone cheered. The phone was saved. Together we proved to the other emojis that there is nothing wrong with being exactly who you are. So now I'm, now I'm back home in Textopolis. But it's cool. You want to know why? I'm the announcer. I get to announce which emoji will be chosen next. And I get to wear whatever I want. Don't tell anyone I said this, but it might even be better than living on the cloud. How's that for expressing yourself? For more great books, make sure you subscribe to our channel.